up YouTube? What's up my beautiful people? Alright, so for 2017, I think something that's very important that we should all be doing is meal prep. And here are five reasons why I think meal prep is so important. One, you save money. Two, you save time throughout the week because you're not wasting time cooking. Three, you save money. Four, you don't have to think about what you want to eat later. And five, most importantly, it'll help you achieve your fitness goals. And a sixth one, just to throw it in there, a little key tip here, I really like meal prep because I don't have to think and I don't have to track or count my macros because I already know the nutritional value of each meal that I'm going to eat. Mostly because every meal that I eat is pretty much the same thing. But what we're going to make today is chicken and rice. <laughs> chicken and rice are the staple foods to getting lean and to getting big. I don't know about you guys, but I can have this meal pretty much every day. But anyways, okay, let's get to it. So guys, I'm pretty sure we can meal prep in under 15 minutes, or at least 15 minutes. It'll probably take a little longer because I'm talking to the camera, but if I were by myself and not talking to you guys, then it'd probably be only about 15 minutes to prepare what I want to make. So first and foremost, your favorite drink. I'm so basic right now. All right, so first what you gotta do is you actually have to turn the oven on, and actually preheat the oven, but I don't really care about preheating the oven because we're badasses, and all we're gonna do is turn the oven to about 425 degrees Celsius, I think that's about 220, 225 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know. I'm not used to the American lingo because we're here in Canada. I like to set the timer to 50. And so by the time I'm done chopping up like the onions and stuff that I want to use for my chicken, it'll probably go down to about 44, 45 minutes. And that'll be more than enough time to let the oven preheat. Even though when you actually preheat the oven, it usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Next, what you need is one of these aluminum pans. A little bit for it. This is where your chicken goes. So this is a chicken I buy. I get it from Walmart, and it was actually on sale today for seven fifty instead of ten dollars. And this is the best way to buy it because I was going to make it today anyway. So don't worry about expiry dates too much. Next, you're going to cut this open and wash it, of course. All right. So once your chicken is all washed, you're just going to throw it into the pan. Gotta place them carefully. So there's 10 pieces here, and it costs me $15. I think that's an amazing price. Next, you're gonna sprinkle on your favorite spices. I just use this. I just see so you know, like these signature blends from Clubhouse that you get from Walmart. Sprinkle a bit on that. Any bodybuilder knows that mustard is your go-to sort of sauce. Rub that in. Trust me, guys. If you've never tried this before, mustard is so good. Alright, I'm gonna teach you how to cut up some onions. <laughs> I mean garlic. <laughs> Grab your knife. With the skin still on, this is the easiest way to take the skin off. Just crush it. And the skin's off. Use this garlic on the actual chicken. Throw it on here. Next, I'm gonna cut up some onion. Throw that on there. Put that in there. No! Hey, right, check it. That was one minute off. I said I was gonna throw the chicken in the oven at 44, but it's at 43. But whatever, it's all good. All right. So you got your chicken. You got your protein. So what are you gonna do for carbs? As I said before, my favorite carb source is rice. I just bought this today. This is $10 from Walmart. Again, I love Walmart. It's jasmine rice, white jasmine rice. A lot of people think that brown rice is a lot better, but realistically, if you're gonna, you know, argue the whole GI index, white jasmine rice and brown rice aren't too far off from one another. And besides, when you eat rice, you usually eat it with, you know, a protein source and vegetables, so the GI index isn't completely what it says on the chart. Just open it like this. Now this next step is gonna save your life. Invest in a rice cooker. Rice cookers are so cheap, and literally all you do is push the on button, and they cook your rice for you. 
Alright, this is the most important part about cooking rice. If you do it this way, you'll never screw up rice. So the cardinal rule for rice is one cup of rice to one and a half cups of water. Now, you know, like I said, I'm a badass and all I know how to do is cook and eat. With my own style, I'm not this conventional style. I'm no chef. So what I do is, remember that rule? One to one and a half. Grab anything. I use this cup. It actually fits about two cups in here, two metric cups. But this to me looks like a cup. I'm no scientist, but a cup is a cup. At least that's what I like to tell myself. So, it's one cup, two cups, two and a half cups. So, for all you nerds out there, I use two and a half cups. How many cups of water should I use? The answer is, I think it's about four. So it's actually like 3.75 or something like that. You know, I don't really care. And I also like my rice a bit more like uh, softer. So I'm just gonna use four cups of this cup. Now, how do I spice up my rice? Well, pretty much I just use a samurai. Am I saying it right, turmeric, samurai? All right, I think the, the way to pronounce it is turmeric. And I go back to the savory Mediterranean, the flax, clubhouse, spices. Remember our cutting board? So, what we're gonna do is add a bit more garlic and a bit more onion. And there you have it. We did it in 15 minutes. And now the rice is cooking. And the chicken is in the oven. Remember? I set that at 50, now it's at 35. So, oh look at it changed. So there you have it guys. That's like the easiest way to prepare uh, your food in 15 minutes. And I did it while talking to you guys. Um, you know, if you're very concentrated and not talking to anyone, you can do it in even less time. This is the best part. Once everything is cooking, you can go off and do whatever you want. You can do your laundry, you can do homework, um, I don't know, the ideas are endless. I also did this on a college budget, so my chicken was about $15 for 10 pieces. A huge bag of rice is $10 for 8 kilograms. Now, you're probably asking, okay, this meal prep video isn't actually me prepping the, the food into little containers. That's whatever that part you can do on your own. But most people don't really know how to cook food in general. Nowadays you need to be like a rocket scientist. But I just showed you that you can do it in about 15 minutes. Another thing you guys are probably going to say is that I didn't cook any, any greens or any veggies. To me, one of the reasons why I don't like cooking my greens or my veggies, like carrots or whatever, I like to eat them pretty much raw. I think that a lot of times when you sort of cook your food, especially greens, you lose a lot of the nutrients. So pretty much all I do is I eat a lot of broccoli and spinach. And so pretty much all you gotta do is run it underwater, throw it into your little containers, and then eat them later. When I was prepping for competition, I would just like walk around with a big bag of broccoli and I would just eat them raw. You can eat a lot of that and you're not gonna you know, spill over on your caloric intake. Um, you have to eat a lot of that to sort of splurge. And even if you do eat a lot, it's not a lot of, um, calories because as you guys know or should know greens the way you calculate their carb sort of value is the carb versus fiber equation so what you do is you I was about to say subscribe so what you do is you subtract the fiber from the carbs to get your net carbs all right so the food is ready to take out of the oven I got my trusty old pal here helping me out he's online I call him DJ Khaled. Another one. Oh, that's hot. Let's check out this chicken. Look how juicy it is.
Alright guys, so here it is. Look at that. Spinach, rice, and chicken underneath there. So key tip, the cardinal rule, at least for me, to lean out eating solely chicken and rice is to eat about six to seven ounces of chicken and anywhere from six to eight ounces of rice. And when I follow this nutritional plan, I lean out and get shredded really quickly. Lately, I haven't been doing it because I'm trying to put on more weight, so I have more body fat on me right now. But if I wanted to lean out, I would follow that six to eight ounces of chicken and rice plan because it's worked for me in the past. Anyway, sorry that I've kept my voice a little, you know, on the lower, quieter side. So the people upstairs are asleep and I don't want to wake them up. But anyways, as per usual, my motto, look good, feel good, do good. Trust me guys, when you go by that motto, your life will get a little bit better. And it's 2017, so we should be doing that. And last but not least, always remember, and I hope you guys do, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below. I want to hear from you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and sort of learn to cook, kind of the quick and easy way that I do. And, as I always say, with whatever you're doing, if you're having a bad day, or even when you're just in the kitchen, like I am right now, always screw it out. I didn't have any music while I was cooking, but like I said, I gotta keep quiet. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and catch you guys later. Peace.